so back with jewelry and today we have a thanksgiving grocery haul vegan style so let's dive in the first store that i'm gonna go over is trader joe's i just got a few things from there first thing i got was this low sodium veggie broth it's organic Thing, some bananas for um I'm making a vegan hummingbird cake so that's why I need a banana and just one can of coconut milk organic some stuff is organic got some sweet and dried cranberries for my um, butternut squash uh, sweet potato casserole. So I'm putting some of these in that. Yes, I got some golden raisins for the same dish. And then for some oatmeal as well because it's a lot of raisins. Next, I have some uh, pecan pieces. For the hummingbird cake, so I'm gonna just dice these a little bit more. But it's raw pecan pieces. And last but not least, it's not really Thanksgiving related, but they had these um, hot chocolate sticks. So I want to try them, but it's a new um, product at Trader Joe's and you just stir it into some hot milk so I figured that'd be fun to do Thanksgiving morning or whenever so it's dark chocolate hot chocolate sticks look delicious next let's go for um, Publix okay next is Publix First, I got some more garlic powder because I am really low. It's like this low, so I had to get restock on this. Next, I have some flaxseed meal for the cake recipe. Had to restock on some baking powder. Got some white and red quinoa to put in the butternut squash and sweet potato casserole. Also, I'm putting in some brown rice and wild rice. I just hate cooking rice, so hey, this is quick and easy. Next, I got some vanilla extract for the cake. Got some EVOO for the cake. And I'm making a um, green bean casserole. So I've got some of these crispy onion, garlic pepper, onion, fried onions to put on top. And it's also a recipe on the back, but I'm following a different recipe just in case. Um, but yeah. Put these on top, making some casserole, green bean casserole like that, but um, making it vegan. And these are vegan because they don't have uh, no allergies listed but wheat, so that's good. Had to get some nutmeg as well. Um, thinking I'm using this for pumpkin cornbread yeah so, let's go to the next bag so I got a few of these ice sparkling ice um, water flavored waters so I like to drink these so I just got um, a lot of these this plum granite blueberry peach nectar and then the last flavor I got was kiwi strawberry 
So I got six of those. Here's the other box of brown rice and raw rice because I didn't know how much I needed for the casserole. Kind of winging it on that far as like amount of stuff I'm putting in it. And then I got some extra elbows for mac and cheese. Let's see. Uh, oh, and I got another uh, flavor of ice. This is ginger lime. So that's it for that. Okay, let's go on to Whole Foods. Let's see. Let me bring you along over here. Bring you along. So let's see. I need some room. I'll put this stuff down. So I got some pure vegetable oil. I might just, I don't know if I'm going to use this. I'm going to just add um, extra virgin olive oil. So I may or may not use this. I may return this. But I might just, instead of using this one, I might use extra virgin olive oil. And then I got two bags of these trim green beans for the green bean casserole. I figured two bags was enough for the house. Next, I picked up some of this maple syrup. Um, for some recipe. And then I picked up two cans of Oh, I thought that was the same one. I picked up two cans of this jelly cranberry sauce. Uh, Thanksgiving really is the only time I eat cranberry sauce. So, I picked up two cans and that's it for Thanksgiving. Now, just in case my vegetable um, sauce don't come out right, when I taste it, I did pick up this organic mushroom gravy and it's vegan it says it on the front so i'll be using that maybe too and then i saw someone put um cheese in a green bean casserole and i figured and then they had this on sale so i was thinking about adding this feta a little bit of feta cheese to the um green bean casserole so it's follow your heart and i think they just came out with this um, and then it got like a blue cheese too, but I felt like the feta would be good. If I don't use it in there, I use it. Use it up. Next, I got two cans of this pumpkin puree. I'm making pumpkin cornbread, so I want to make two batches, so I'm going to do that. I got one can of crushed pineapples for the hummingbird cake. Then I picked up this organic, I mean, original cream cheese for the cake as well. Like the little frosting on top that I'm going to make. And then I picked up three of these. This one over there. Three of these of these um butternut squash. They had a lot of different squashes there, but I just picked up butternut. All right. Two more bags to go. Put the receipts over here. Next, for the hot chocolate, I picked up. I picked up these um, vegan marshmallows to go on top. Or if I want to like just make a sweet potato and then I can add a little marshmallows on it. But I just picked these up just to try them with the hot chocolate. I feel like they'll be pretty good in them. And they also got a recipe on here if you want to make some Rice Krispie treats. So, yeah. Next. 
got some coconut shreds for the cake. And this Bob Rev Mills. I like this brand for different things. They got a whole lot of products, different flowers and stuff. And then I got this organic powder sugar. So I can make the um, frosting for the cake. Next, I picked up this Arrow Mills yellow corn meal because my corn meal is kind of. Um, I got the. What is this brand? I got the Bob's Red Meal corn meal, but it's kind of grainy because it's medium or something. So I wanted this one because it's more finer. So I want that for my cornbread. No Jiffy here, boo. I just playing, you know, I grew up with Jiffy, so hey, you you use Jiffy, you use Jiffy. Next, mac and cheese. I'm using a Daya uh, Cheddar Style Deluxe Mac and Cheese. And I'm gonna add this into it to stretch it. So, let's move on. Next, got some BioLife uh, Cobot, what is Cobot Jack? Cobra Jack cheese shreds. This looks good. Just to add some more cheese to it. And for the different recipes, I got this good Karma Flex unsweetened protein um, milk. Because I didn't want to add that vanilla flavor to like the um, green bean casserole and stuff like that. So I just got a plain unsweetened original no vanilla last but not least is this garden plant-based turkey rolls so i got this as a turkey substitute for thanksgiving so i wonder how many servings in this let's see they say five well, and this box not big enough talking about five but that's it for Thanksgiving. Let me know what you picked up or what you cooking for Thanksgiving. And I might show a few dishes on for Thanksgiving. Who knows? I'll let you. I'll let you marinate on it. And then I'll see you later.